Hello, yes, Mark Collis is indeed a hope not hate spy, without a doubt. But let me just take you back to 2001, when I first came across Mark Collis at the Northern Rally being held in Oldham 2001. Collis was given a speech, a talk, I think he may have been head of the young BMP, then the YBMP, I'm not sure, but all the same. He gave an excellent speech, I was impressed. This young man had uh, qualities, abilities, he had potential, he was going to go right to the top in the nationalist movement. Uh, and you could see, you know, that was happening. But Griffin had this terrible habit of raising his hand at BMP means, Mark Collett, the next leader of the BMP, when nothing could be further from the truth, and Griffin knew that. Why? Uh, Griffin uh, used to do that, I, I'll never know, I don't know. But anyway, it built up Collett's dreams and expectations. And then there was other fallbacks that happened in the party, like the documentary Young Nazi and Proud, and the one with Russell Brandon. Many, many others where he let himself down and he'd been caught with his pants down. And the Jewish uh, journalist had been secretly, secretly recording him instead of Griffin. Uh, versing him and warning him that the journalist will probably be wired for sound so be careful what you say he didn't but on the same in the same breath he shouldn't have been talking about anything other than party policy and he veered off talking about girlfriends and Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany and Jews and this Jewish journalist was recording them okay it's not the end of the world so what happened then is the spies were manoeuvring in the BMP, Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson, and they were getting rid of all the genuine nationalists, and Collett was one of them. He was next on the chopping block. So when it was his turn, and he was kicked out the BMP, he couldn't handle it. And don't forget, he was kicked out for legitimate reasons, for doing and saying something stupid. But anyway, so he's kicked out the BMP, and what's he left with now? He's got no job. He's going to have to go back to Mums in Leicester. He's left a trail of embarrassing videos on uh, the internet. He feels he's been betrayed. And what, he, what he's done is he's went to hope not hate because he wasn't a strong character in that department to deal with the rejection and failure and, in his eyes, betrayal. So he's gone to the enemy. If you want to believe he just turned up with Eva, even Braun, were there swastikas all over the body. Right on the eve of the Vote Leave campaign, then be, be my guest. He's turned up with there with swazis on to smear the Vote Leave campaign and to, um, to hinder it. Of course he has. And he's now with Dr. David Duke, right? And this, uh, they're doing this radio show or whatever. So the Collis is indeed a snitch. I wouldn't be blaming Mark Collis or saying he's accused him of being a snitch if he wasn't. I liked Mark Collis. I got on with him. Uh, quite well, we had a, a great rapport between one another. But he's rolled to the enemy, I'm sorry, but he has. You don't turn up with this mysterious girl with swastikas all over her, right on the eve of the Vote Leave campaign. He's turned up to scuba the Vote Leave campaign, but it didn't, it backfired. More call it is indeed a spy. That works for hope, not hate. Okay, thank you.